in my Cal Street school. Dear Lord, show me a sign. Give me a map. Oh, yeah. Sun, 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 my love. Show me the lights, those dim bright lights, a sun, my love. Show me, show me, show me, sun, my love. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. Sign my love From the inner harbor To the outer bay The arcades The city lights So, so bright Show me, show me, show me Sign my love Sign my love Okay, so we're in Macau, and we're going to be walking down this way, which is um, uh, Alameda Ribera, Avenida de Alameda Ribera. And we have all the lights on, so we're basically going to walk probably almost down to the pier and try to capture as much as we possibly can with this beautiful lighting and also with this nice black and white tiles everywhere. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is... Um, Alameda Ribera, and I believe that one is like Henry the Navigator down that street going towards this Boa Casino and you can see the BNU Bank right there which is um, a big landmark and it's actually some historical value to it as well and then down this way is um, Avenida de Praia Grande which is where the ocean historically used to be so we're gonna walk directly down this way and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like in this part of Macau Got the lights are just coming on. The black and white tiles. The BNU bank. Plus you even got some of this, which is um, kind of everywhere in Macau. They really beautify it with these um, potted plants. And the uh, red lanterns. I think the red lanterns aren't always there, but the potted plants are. And right up there is a Starbucks and a Jollibee, so that building will have both. You can also see some of the beautiful tiles. You got um, an anchor there. And actually, I don't know if you, maybe you might not be able to see it on this one. Uh, maybe you can. Right on this corner, there's a post office. And if we can look up the street, there's actually a new thing called the Mate. It's like a big shopping mall in this area that's going to be Kind of a big thing. Plus you got this beautiful architecture here too. The new all the way down and all the way down is um, actually MGM and Wynn Casino. Okay so let's go up. We're gonna try to capture this. I guess it's a red light now. This who is central right here? This actually has some significance because historically that used to be the central street running north to south. And this street that we're on, um, they kind of remade this one maybe in the 1800s I believe. 
and they expanded it and made it um, because there was all this stuff coming in from the ocean on the ships. So they needed some bigger, wider roads to bring stuff in. So they um, expanded this one called uh, San Malo in Chinese, and um, and it's uh, Alameda, uh, Alameda Rivera in Portuguese. And straight to the, you're going to see a couple of things coming up, but one is Hotel Central, the green building. And you're also going to see Sonata Square, so if we get a chance, I might actually go over there a little bit. That goes up to a parking lot, and then you also got the Royal Senate. This white building is the Royal Senate. This one right here with the big red lanterns on it. And over there is Sonata Square. Right there. And over there is the post office. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to um, run across while we got our green light. Go into the Sonata Square briefly, highlighting those beautiful colored buildings. The lights are just coming on, so. And we're gonna go this way. Got the post office. And then actually this one keeps changing all the time. So this one, there's always people out here. And now there's a fountain over here. And a big giant red brick wall. But yeah, this is not a square, this whole space in here. That's the uh, Royal Senate. And then believe it or not, cars used to be able to go through all the way in here. And that was a roundabout. And they could drive right up in there. And then they made it all into a pedestrian friendly area. But it's really nice. And it's kind of cool because there's this giant um, penguin looking thing over top of the yellow building so they actually have live music over there as well and then way up on the hill there's actually a hill way up in the distance um, I think that could be Gia Hill or Mont Fortress full surface back in my tiles so we're gonna keep on going down our our way. Yeah, it's actually really photogenic in this space. And we're gonna be going down this way. We're gonna walk down this uh, arcade area. And from the arcade, you can see all the black and white tiles. And this goes all the way down to the um, Fun 16. So I think we're probably going to be going all the way down. And along the way, you'll have little um, surprises like this one. Black and white tiles. And this is uh, Bavano, the Resident of Bavano, which is like uh, Fireman Lane. All the lights are just coming on too, so it's like perfect timing. Lots of gold shops in the cow. It's kind of funny to the left right here. You go around a little bit. But to the left, you have the arcades right here. And then the buses came by, come by right here, and they have the green. Gotta check this out too. This is the uh, Central Hotel. This is really beautiful from a distance. So we're gonna um, yeah, I was just gonna say like right in this spot, people will peek their heads over to see if there's buses coming, but the cars can be quite close right here, so they had to put up these green guardrails just because that could be a problem and if you're driving it's actually quite frightening because um, people do peek around these big pillars all the time looking for their buses or a taxi which is worse the buses you kind of know the bus stop but 
people looking for taxis, it's a little bit more challenging. You got all these beautiful side streets as well. Everybody's turning here, so we're gonna go down here as well. And then this is how we're gonna cross the street. You have to come down. And then now you got space to go across. So let me see. So now you can see the Hotel Central. I'll try to get a good view of it in a second. So you can kind of see it a little bit up there. It's better from a distance. Beautiful, beautiful buildings. Nice lighting. Let me see, I think, we, I think it's maybe better if we go across the street. Follow all the people across. So we're gonna go across like that. And now we're gonna um, view this side. So many buses. But from over here, you can see the Central Hotel really clearly now. So now that's the, the giant uh, green Central Hotel. And we got Mercadori Street. Which is also really nice for filming. Okay, so we're gonna um, go down. Yeah, the lighting is just illuminated just right, so... Then you got some uh, Chinese medicine there. Yeah, it's really beautiful, these arcades, when they change it there. Yang. So it's gonna go all the way down. I think we might go all the way down to the end. And you got some beautiful little places like this, this little brew lab right there. And you got some nice kind of colonial looking buildings. Okay, so we're gonna head back on out. And then we're gonna go to the uh, left. Yeah, these arcades are, um, um, it's kind of interesting because there's a lot of architecture along the southern South China coast like this, with these kind of arcades, it's um, kind of a touch that's noticeable. So some of the other towns around here like Zhongshan and um, Heikau has it, I think uh, Zhangmin has them. Shantau, a bunch of other cities that are also on the coast like this will have um, these arcades. Arcades are these um, kind of rain guard things. This is October the 5th Street. Okay, we're going to keep on going down. have all these little side streets which have a lot of stuff going on too. I think this Matridoro, which is this one, kind of marks where um, this is kind of on reclaimed land. So I think Matridoro is like, um, what's that mean? I think it means um, I think it's, I think the meaning is something like, um, I think mo mo morto is something like death or something like that. So it's like, I think like where all the fish come in or something like that. And they call it, I, I don't know. 
I'm not gonna guess because I'm, I'm gonna I, I don't have it right but there's another one with Matodoro that's um in Kolowan which is historically and still is on the ocean and that street right there would have been the marking of where the ocean would have been as well so there could be a con some kind of connection like that more of these little side streets everywhere and we got some some beautiful colonial buildings over on that side as well we keep on walking down we're gonna go all the way down to the pond 16 even though I don't know if it's worth it to go down or not but there's always stuff to see like there's a clothing store right here we do have some historical hotels the hotel central was one but there's a few other ones down here too oh that has a uh, Oh, I think actually this is actually October 5th Street so this is part of October 5th Street and that is to the market which I should go down I think it's called October the 5th Street Market oh, it's a different name it's a night market but we're gonna end our, our street in just a minute but you do have some nice lighting that's the, that's the other hotel this one was also being restored for the longest time that one and this would go out to the ocean i mean it does right now it goes out to the ocean and it has for over 100 years 150 years i think they reclaimed this land like this one has some kind of connection. Um, this is some, something that's kind of famous around here. And that's Pont 16. The ocean is there. It's Grand Hotel right there. And I guess we're just gonna end the video. It's like we can go across like this because we got a green light. There we go, we got this bow in the background and everything. We got that beautiful building as well. And we're gonna end our video. Cow Street